because obviously people watching this are like, okay, how do I get my music into a Netflix film or how to a Netflix show? Like, are you allowed to talk about in any of that? Like how, 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 how does one get their music into Netflix properties? Yeah. I, I can't get super specific because of, uh, uh, basically an NDA I signed, but, mm -hmm. um, in general, you know, producers or songwriters want to, all right, let me rewind, rewind a second. Like yeah. I get people that hit me up on LinkedIn and various other, you know, platforms and, and at the time, at the time when I was at Netflix and asked me how I, what TV shows I was working on and trying to pitch me music. When in reality I was, even though I was part of the music licensing team, even though I was, uh, you know, involved in, in all of that, the real people that you want to reach out to are the music supervisors and the license and the third party licensing companies or the publishing companies or labels, record labels that pitch music to the supervisors. The, our team wasn't, you know, involved directly with the creative side, even though I'm very, I'm very much still a creative person outside of, you know, outside of the nine to five at the time. But, um, you know, really that's where the music was being, uh, you know, sent to either the music supervisors who are completely independent of, of Netflix. Like they don't work at Netflix. They are hired by the director or producer of the show or film and they go out and select the music and start the process. And then they'll hand it off to us to, to make sure all the, you know, T's are crossed and I's are dotted. Um, but those are the people that, you know, producers and songwriters and artists should really be trying to get in contact with, uh, are the supervi music supervisors and the, the licensing companies or the publishing companies. Cause those are the ones that have the direct relationships and can plug your music. Right. Did you find that most supervisors work with a company to find the music or did any mu music supervisors that you were aware of, like actually interact or like try to reach out to artists or producers themselves or did they work primarily like with a company that you know they maybe gave them a brief or whatever this is what we're looking for you know send me some songs yeah primarily they work with with companies and, and send out briefs of what they're looking for and then the, pub, the publishing or licensing companies or sync agents will excuse me will send them a playlist of of potential uh songs that fit that description um, but it depends, like it's, it's really a relationship game. If you're, I know plenty of, um, independent songwriters who make, you know, not plenty, but I know a, a few handful that are making six figures. They don't have exclusive deals with, uh, a licensing agent or a publishing company. They have relationships and they, and they work with a lot of different people and they're fast and reliable because the name of the game in, the licensing world is speed. All the all of these things are turned around, at least initially, in in a few days. You know, the the back end paperwork can take months, and that's not the exciting, sexy stuff. But you know, the the real hustle and the real game is in you know being super responsive um, and having the relationship. So if you have that combination as an independent artist, you can you know make a really good living. And this is and this is why I'm always stressing to you guys that number one, be professional um, in your communication, be quick in your communication and be organized with all of your files, with all of the different types of files that are necessary when pitching for these placements. So, you know, the instrumental, the acapella, the clean version, like you need to be very organized because like Glenn just said, speed is the name of the game. If you're like, if somebody's asking you for a particular version of the file or asking you for some information for somebody else that's on the song and you're fumbling and taking too long to get back to them, they're going to replace your song with the quickness. And, I'm, and Glenn, have you seen that? Time Absolutely. Absolutely. Because there's, there's options, you know, if, if their first option doesn't come through fast enough, option two gets slid in real quick. 